Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits review. Uh, trying to do two a day now, I've got that much stock of beers that I need to crack on and uh, it's nice to try new beers anyway. Isn't that what we all like, you know, beer cider spirits and lagers? I love trying all of them, I do. And uh, I'm just a glorified pisshead, but uh, you know, don't tell anybody. So tonight I'm reviewing this. Never seen it before until the other day. Slowberry and Juniper Cider. It's a 4%. It's an Asda's Extra Special. Um, yeah. Slowberry and Juniper Cider. It says it's deep and fruity and a winter warmer. I don't know who makes it for, um, for Asda. And it's not saying on the bottle. Now, you know for me, I'm a great believer in, yes, Asda's name's on it. But... You know, give praise to the people that actually make it, you know. But we'll see what it tastes like. So, where did I put the doodah? Ah, shoot. Oh, it's there. So, I've just done one beer review. And the shed was about 5 degrees when I walked in. It is now up to 11 degrees, so it's getting better. But perfect for reviewing ciders. Yes, the glass is dirty, I do apologise. So, lovely, uh, slightly day deeper than a rosé, but a rosé colour basically. Uh, pinkish tinge head on it. Obviously good carbonation and lacing. Ooh, that's different. So, I can definitely pick out both the slowberry and the juniper in the aroma. I'm loving these wacky and different side of varieties. I, for me, and I've said it in a, pre, in a review just uh, a day or so ago, that the cider uh, category is evolving at a, a fantastic pace. Years ago at Sainsbury's, when I worked there, um, it was all about uh, traditional ciders, and then the likes of Copperberg were there, and Recorderleg. And then Old Moat Cider came in. And uh, even, even though they're all pretty much similar, you know, all variations of the same theme. And then Brothers brought out their Toffee's Apple Cider, which was amazing. And all of a sudden, there's been an explosion in different varieties, you know. Bloody hell, that last bit really hit me. Um, yeah, an explosion in different varieties, and it's great to see, you know, um, and hopefully they'll stay around, you know, like gin, gin is, it's unbelievable how gin has exploded, it's getting warmer in here, and this, this bloody air, um, I've got a, a port, a blow up hot tub in here, and with the heat, it's expanding again. Which is really freaky because I had an issue with rats under my house um, the last few months, a couple of months ago, and uh, it's still not gone out of my head. And with this expanding because of the heat, it's freaking me out. So, oh. That's a very, very different taste in cider. Whereas a lot of these ciders are fruit, um, you know, like the Palma Violet cider, you know, it's, um, that hits the spot for people who remember Palma Violets. And I've still got half a bottle up there, you know, I haven't drank it yet, which is very surprising for me. Um, I must make a note to drink it. But yeah, unbelievable, you know, this, this, and this, this again is, you know, bloody different. I lo I'm absolutely loving these different ciders. And no, I'm not drunk, in case anybody's, um, I'm just enthusiastic. Oh, the taste. Slowberry and juniper. Who thinks of it? You know, who pairs these varieties? You know, it's absolutely awesome. 
it's only four percent but i can feel it you know sometimes with ciders you don't feel it and does anybody notice that i've changed I've, I'm, I'm on a different uh different view of the room usually you can see the bar in the background but with um we're putting the octub where it is it's uh it's kind of changed the dynamic of the room so i thought hey i'll, I'll change how it is and uh, i'm below lots of lights so whether this shows up better on there i don't know we'll see and i'll work out where the best place is one of these days i'll just sit on the settee and do a sit down review but the set, i've got uh, all the crap from the house we've just decorated a room and um after having the double the double issue of damp on one wall and then um rats however they got in underneath the skirting boards chewing away at me flipping skirting boards i mean luckily that problem's gone it's touch wood uh so i hope never to repair never to happen again and uh yeah just got it looking perfect again nothing better than a nice crisp room you know can't tell you how good that tastes and um slow berries and juniper i've had juniper in gin and it did not taste nice and slow berries not really my floats my boat but this little fella can't can't beat it it's lovely oh it's the amber nectar you know it's um you could nearly enough neck that in one. The flavour to it, awesome flavour. You know, for me, this is better than the likes of um, your mixed fruits and your strawberry and lime. And I'm a massive strawberry cider fan. And, um, you know, very nice. And I had some fantastic different ciders. I had nettle cider. And uh, that was different. Blackberry and nettle, I think it was. A few months ago. You can check out... Um, other reviews if you look on this the playlists and you look at side of reviews you can see what reviews i've done and that's uh, you know some very different ciders which i'm glad to see i'm glad to see cider is evolving as uh, the beers you know the beers and bitters have real ales into um something amazing you know same as gin you know so now for me gin ciders and beers have evolved like you know gin has whereas lagers for me lagers are still behind um i'll give you one lager in particular that's you know helped this jubel you can get that from uh, sainsbury's and uh peach flavored lager and i'll tell you what whew, the taste is immense in fact i even got some scent to me as a um because um of a review I did and uh, that was lovely you know to be not have to go out and keep buying it you know it's great you know and obviously I'll still give an honest review you know but um, yeah fantastic love it I mean I'm hoping to get hold of a bottle of Golden Glory from uh, Badger uh, the peach and uh, melon uh, beer absolutely fantastic beer but uh, it seems to have disappeared from shops which is really sad you know <laughs> So this is a beer from um, a cider hour <clears throat> for me and it's one that you, you can't neck this too quickly the taste in this is lovely um who would have thought slow berry and juniper i mean it, it's not something that you know someone said to me oh that's a slow berry and juniper do you want to taste i'd be like yeah yeah go away um whereas they said toffee apple cider i'd have gone yeah give it but this this is one of the best ciders I think I've ever tasted. Um, now, usually with with ciders and beers, with beers in particular, the warmer the beer, the war the the darker the beer, the more complex flavours come through. Um, with this cider, this has complex flavours of its own, but. I'm drinking it and it's chuffing cold. 
because obviously when I walked in it, it was about three degrees. It's it's gone up now, and we're at about fourteen degrees in here. You know, so it's warming up quite nicely. Although I've got to turn that heat off and it's going back to the house. But um, very nice, very. Is it my favourite cider? Maybe not. But I'll tell you now, this is a top ten cider. Absolutely love it. It's a, for me. It's a side that leaves something there. You know, you're drinking it, and uh, you you'll remember it. You know, the taste is lovely. The blending is just something else. You know. Wow. I'm liking that. That is really nice. Um, this is a new range at Asda. Well, I've not seen it before anyway. Um, but yeah, slow berry and juniper. And it's, it's a winter warmer. Maybe that's it. Maybe what? Maybe because it's got that winter warmer in it, that the the complex flavours are uh, you know coming coming through. And uh, to say it's, I've had a six percent. I've just reviewed a three thirty mil six percenter. And this is a 500 mil four percenter, and uh, I feel woof. You know, I can feel it. And uh, that's all I've had to drink today. You know, um, the bloody hell, it's hit me. And uh, it's nice that um, for someone who drinks probably more than most, a lot of people, you know, than the average person, shall we say, or uh, who knows these days, um, that. Something that's a 6% and then a 4% can hit you. It's a good thing. Because if it doesn't hit you and you can keep drinking different beers and never, never hitting you, you know, never getting you, you know, you feel like you feel drunk and you're slurring. If it doesn't, then that's an issue, you know, you've got a problem. But if it does, then it's like, wow, you know, that's a good thing. If ever I drink a pint and straight away I'm feeling drunk and I think, fucking hell, what, what's going off here? I know I can drink nine or ten pints and uh, not, be, not be troubled. But that's a good thing. But anyway, let's get back on it. So, to break this down, I know I've rattled on again. Uh, rosé colour, and it's still retaining the head. So, good carbonation and lacing. Uh, slowberry and juniper on the taste. Same in the aroma absolutely immense it's an absolute perfect combination who'd have thought you know i picked it up the other day and i thought well i'll try it you know if it's rancid i'll say it's rancid but the flavor is immense um wow it's a stunner oh my back so as do I don't know who makes it, but I'll find out. Um, that is a stunning cider. If you if you like your fruit ciders, but you also like something traditional, this is both a nod to the fruit cider category, but also to the traditional ciders. You know, this to me is, I think, a game changer cider. It's fruity, but traditional. But traditional in a, in a way that not a lot of these other ciders, in fact, I don't think any of the other ciders can do. So, um, out of 10, out of five or other, I'm gonna give it a 4.65 out of five. We're in top 10 category here. This is an absolute stunner of a cider. Wow. Absolutely bloody lovely. Who'd have thought? Me and I want to thought. Thanks for watching. See you soon.